Welcome in National Education Cycle. Today we'll talk more about expand tools. So let's get started. I'm your Fasi, I'm Blanka Mehecka, I'm LCVP in Poznań. Um, this is my mail. If you have any question, please ask me. I will be glad to answer you. So yes, what you can find here. Uh, you can find expert definition, people I manage, EP profile, sign up management, application, analytics, important and other tools. So what Expa exactly is? So Expa is our main platform that all entities around the world use to manage EPs. An EP can't have an ISAC exchange without being on Expa. So basically, um, basically when someone is interested in exchange, then this person registers on the ISAC website and goes here. So yes, this is um, how Expa look like. So Expa has many tools, but for us people in OGV, these two are the most important. So people and application of people. People I, I manage. In this part, you will find all the people that your TL or SVP have assigned to you to manage. So you are the, the EPM, which means EP manager. All of these people need to be contacted. So important point here is to make sure that you are in touch with all the people that are assigned to you and you know where they are at in the funnel and what are the next steps. So yeah, this is how an um, EP profile looks. Uh, so when you get assigned as EPM of someone, you will get a notification on your email, mostly Isaac email, and you are going to be able to check their profile. Make sure to keep this profile as updated as possible as possible during the flow you have with the EP. Updating the EP profile is another super relevant activity. The most important to update is the follow-up, mainly when you first contact the sign-up. So once you send them a message, mail or call them, you can already change to contact it. Later on you can update it in case they don't answer that maybe this person is not interested and maybe this person is interested in next summer, so um, you can change this status. So this is kind of scheme, what you, what you should to do when you will be assigned as EPM. Maybe this person is interested in GV, so we have to just contact in 24 hours as usual. Don't forget to mark as contacted on expert. Maybe this person doesn't have any preferences, so you have to contact this person because all these people from OGV are responsible for this. If you will not contact this person, no one do this, so be sure that you're aware of this. If you contact this person is if and this person is interested in GV, you have to contact this person and change uh, the preferences of the expat. Maybe this person not answer to you. So you have to write in the notes on the expo that you contacted them and they didn't, um, did not answer or they are member. Or maybe this person is interested in GT, so you shouldn't contact this person. This is another scheme how to contact people properly, so just contact in 24 hours as usual. After you send them a message, email or call, you can already mark them as contacted on Expa, even if they don't answer because you tried to contact. If you try later and they still don't answer, just change the status to no answer. If this person has no preferences, um, you have to contact this person in 24 hours. Um, after this, you send them a message, email or call, you can already mark them as contacted on Expa, even if they don't answer because you try to contact. If you try later and um, then they still don't answer, just change the status to no answer. Change the preferences of the EP for GV on Expa. Even though we don't really know the preferences, we want them on our filter for future contact. This is application of people page. In this part, you can check people who applied to an opportunity and check in which part of the flow they are at. Make sure no one dance without a follow-up for more than a week if they are on the phase between apply to approval. Remember, this is also about process time, so be aware of that. It's super cool to know where you are 
where your EP is in this our flow. So this is EP application. If I open their profile there, you can check the status and once they are accepted, you can check if they have filled the RDA. And then once they pay and sign the contract, which is acceptances note, you can mark them as paid and then as approved. And you have to be super happy because in this moment you make a bigger impact. So congratulations from me. So yes, this is uh, EP application. You can also check there the timeline of the flow. This is analytics. Expa also offered the analytics tool that is very interesting for getting insight and understanding either your LC performance or other LC or entities performance. It is super cool because you can check if your committee is developing. This is a some important point. So each LC may have special steps or procedures on Expa. So make sure to check with your leader. Be very careful and use Expa wisely. We have important information there and many decisions are made on what is provided there. Make sure to always keep Expa updated. Sometimes Expa doesn't work. One tip is to try to open in the Google Home on incognito mode. So yeah, this is some tutorial for Expa. Check it out, click on the screen and let's make this real. So yeah, we have also other tools. Mm. Besides Expa, we have some additional tools to help us on managing our data and knowledge. So yeah, um, this is Poland Hub. This one you are probably familiar with. This is the website where you can find all important knowledge from OGV and all others area. So click here and let's check it out. Yeah, this is our core. Mm, an interesting tool for performance analytics. So we, I can talk a lot of this, but you have to check it. So yeah, we have also local tools. Each LC structure may have a special tool for managing information of the EPs. Make sure to always keep them updated. On this tool, can add some more detailed information from the EP slide. A paragraph describing some personal information that you already know about the EP, where they study, what they are looking for on ISEC, etc. What was the last contact li like and what is next? Information about the experience after approval, like exchange standards and others. Having this kind of information on the tool makes much easier in case of changing EPM. It prevents us asking the same information again for the EP. The EP will get stressed if, you, if they have to answer the same thing over and over again. So make sure that you're super aware of this and you are, and you were talking with your leader or LCVP. So yeah, we have also um, social media. Make sure to be on our Facebook groups and Instagram. They are important tools for getting updated on the latest news from Isaac and super, super cool. So follow up. Yeah, this is our sources. And yeah, if you have any question, as I said, wrote to me, call to me, or this is my mail. And it will be super cool to answer to all your question. I really thank you for, for listening to me. And yes, thank you. Bye.